I'm going to show you how to make a simple TK Enter app that has text entry and uses a message box to create a pop-up. First thing we need to do is import TK Enter. Because we are using the message boxes, uh, we also need to import message box, which actually is, is part of TK Enter but doesn't get imported correctly unless you specifically mention it. Once again, I have that typo. Okay create our TK object. This creates a window. Now this could be named a couple different things. The window, some people name it TK, like lowercase. The most common one that I see is root. Let's set the title. The title can be anything you'd like. And let's specify a size. This is not the only possible size. Like it, the window could be resized, but that's the easiest way to specify the size. Let's create some labels. The labels belong to the root window. This label will just say username. And let's go ahead and place it. Let's use the grid system to place it. Because we're using the grid system, we're not going to have to pack the TK object later on. And let's make one more label. This label will say password. Now right now they're both in the exact same location, so I'll put this one in another row, row number one which is actually the second row. This is all I have so far. Let's keep working. We're gonna create a text entry field, a box where someone can type in some text. We need to give this box a name, so I'm gonna call this name text box. It is a entry object, that's what the text entry box is called, and it belongs to root. On the next line, we can place it on the grid. I want it in the same row as my username, but it can't be in the exact same column. It's going to be in the next column over. So it's going to be just to the right. There's my label. There's my first text entry box. There's my other label, my second label, in row number one. Let's next create the text entry box for that one. This one is located in row number one. Next, we're going to create a button. When we click it, it's going to get what was typed into the username text box and the password text box. And it's just going to display that information in a pop-up window. The button belongs to the root window. The text on the button says submit, but it could say click me or whatever you'd like. The name of the command has to be the name of a function. I'm going to create a function called entry text right now. And for right now, this function doesn't do anything. It just exists. Let's place the button on the grid, row number two, column number two, which is a new column. You can see that it's cut off here. You can always resize this, but I think I'm also going to resize it in my code. Now, nothing happens right now when I press the submit button. The first thing I want to do is just display a message box that just says, hello world. And there are several different types of message box. There's show info, show warning, and others. This one is going to say results at the, the top of the window, like up here. And then the body is just going to say hello world. The title at the top of the pop-up says results, and the body just says hello world. Now let's actually collect what was typed into the username text box and the password text box. All you need is the name of the text box, dot get. It'll grab the text that was typed into the name text box, and it will save it in username. It will grab what was typed into the password text box, and it will save it in the variable password. So in my message box, I'm just going to put, I'm just going to put username and password. The location of this text entry function is important. If it is located in the wrong place, it will not run. When I try to run this code, it'll get to the button before it gets to the entry text. And when it gets right here, it'll cause an error because it doesn't know what entry text is. It's never heard of it. Name entry text is not defined. Some people will put their functions all the way at the top like this. This is also fine just as long as the function that the button calls already exists. That's all that matters.